Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to another edition of Brandy Beauty TV. Today, we're going to actually be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be reviewing Mean Lee and EAP Heat's new Flatiron collaboration. And for starters, I've never used an EAP Heat uh, tool, hot tool, like ever. So I'm really excited about even just trying the company but Ming Lee's collaboration, if you don't know who Ming Lee is, she's basically like a super fly beauty entrepreneur. Um, very, very, very impactful. Um, she's just, she's just everything. I, I really do love her brand and everything that she represents. So she dropped this collaboration and the colors were just like phenomenal. Like all my favorite colors were included in the promotion, the rose gold, burgundy, the red and so I was like okay I'm gonna have to kind of I'm gonna have to figure out how to incorporate the color palette of the promotion into my video so I said you know what my little sister Brache she has a friend and I said what do you have any of your friends that may want to get some hair color and she was like uh yeah I'll ask so our model today is Constance and she said she's going to let me color her hair all the colors of the promotion. I said, oh my God, I looked up. So we're going to be coloring her hair red, hot pink, blush, and also like a deep, deep, deep red violet. And I'm super excited because we're also going to kind of have to do some color correcting. Um, at the beginning of the video, you saw her hair was a little green and purple and whatnot you know a, a lot of high schoolers always play in their hair and whatnot which is common you know experimenting and stuff so we're going to color correct all of that and then we're going to try out the new flat iron and I'm so excited so for Constance um color pattern i'm going to be doing like a block color it's kind of like a it's kind of like a peekaboo color but it's, it's just a little bit thicker so when she pulls her hair up in a ponytail it's going to be like um where are all these colors coming from but when she lets it down you're going to see a whole lot of color and this is one of my favorite placements to do for people who want to experiment with like fashion color but they don't want to color their whole head like a you know pink or blue or whatnot if they kind of just want like a blend um or i would say more like um if you want something very impactful that's that's more the word then this is a placement that i would do if you want to see a whole lot of color but you don't want your whole head color this is perfect so this is what i'm going to be doing and so in the block it's kind of like a it's like a teardrop that's kind of how i have it sectioned and it's going to be hot pink on one side, red, blush, and then um, another thick uh, red section. And on the bottom, or I should say the base color, is going to be like a uh, red violet, a really, really deep red violet. And so being that her ends um, are already light, which means that they're extremely porous, I'm going to have to fill it back in twice. So after i apply her base color all around um once i rinse that out and shampoo it i'm going to go back in and fill it again with another um hd um red violet demi color just to make it a lot richer so it doesn't look so hollow So Constance hair lifted beautifully considering that she already had pre-existing hair color and I'm, I'm, I needed to keep some warmth in it because when you lift too light and you're trying to apply colors like uh, pink or um, the more tetrary red reds and like the crimson and stuff when it fades it can just look like a 
sherbet or like a, an orange which is still pretty but if that's not what you want then you, you want to try to avoid that so i don't want to lift her hair too 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 light i needed to keep some warmth there as much yellow as possible so that color can grab onto it so i'm using the colors fireball and cupid and of course they like just a regular hot pink and a really really bright red and they are from the line pulp riot which is one of my favorite favorite lines for fashion colors because they are really thick in consistency um you have to be really mindful of how you apply it but when i tell you like the color lasts so long and it's so shiny and reflective one of my favorites um another beauty supply store brand that's equivalent to this that's kind of match it is kiss kiss colors so if you want to kind of like recreate this look kiss colors you'll find um you can use any color palette you you like but kiss colors is, is one of my go-to's as well when i can't uh find pulp riot like they they're solid <laughs> and so what i'm going to be doing is when i section her um teardrop placement I'm not gonna use straight lines because I don't want her color to be so precise. I really kind of want them all intertwined with each other. So I'm using a zigzag placement, which is one of my go-to placements for if I want something extremely blended or kind of like natural or lived in, I normally do diagonals or zigzags. And so what that's going to do is some of the red is going to feed into the pink some of the pink is going to feed into the blush and you're not going to be able to detect where each section of color is coming from so that's what we're going to do and i'm going to be very very careful with my application because i don't want these colors to bleed onto each other which is so easy to do so i'm having to be very very cautious and it's it's a little tedious but it's going to be worth it in the end Okay, y'all, so it's here. We about to review this flat iron. Iron, how do you say it? Lord have mercy, I always, oh, that's one word I know how to jack up, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Um, so I am just like loving this packaging. Like the, the baby pink and the rose gold. It's just, it's the rose gold for me. Like anything with rose gold, I just feel like I just, ha I need to buy it. You know, it, it don't even make no sense. Like it, it's just exclusive. I love the rose gold detail. And then also on the flat iron, the plates are rose gold as well. So when I saw that, I said, oh, I, I mean, duh, like, yeah, put it, add it to the cart. Like, I, I got to get it. I, I need to review this flat iron. And I have never in my life felt the need to review any type of hot tool, but this one just deserved it. So I love the detail. And when I tell you upon pressing her hair i was like okay it, it has some weight to it like it was it was kind of heavy but that also made me feel more comfortable using it because that means that i could apply the tension that i need because the release was really really good and so when i tell you it presses out so beautifully i mean one pass was really all i needed and it was even the heat was evenly distributed across the plate it wasn't like one section of the plate was hotter than another because sometimes um, with flat irons, the middle is normally the hottest part of the plate. The ends are they don't get so hot, but this one was was hot. Um, the heat was evenly distributed from the top of the plate to the bottom of the plate, and 
that makes all the difference in um, making sure that you don't damage your hair because you don't have to go over it so many times. So um, your tools do matter. Like they matter a whole lot. You got to have good tools in order to, you know, provide good service. And so her hair, Constance's hair is very, very thick in density. I mean, this child got the thickest hair. I think of all my clients, she's definitely ranks in the top three for the thickest hair uh, ever. Like she got some hair and it is beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous. But that also means that you have to be very, very particular with your products and your tools because it needs to be able to take and be able to saturate. So this flat iron works so well. I'm impressed. The packaging was beautiful. How it, it works, phenomenal. I mean, five star review in every single department and if you get a chance go to eap heat or ming lee's page on instagram and just look at the uh the little advertisements they did i mean it was just so adorable i mean hands down it was it was great so uh, if you have not purchased this flat iron i recommend it and i'm sure you will enjoy it because i know i did So before I started coloring Constance's hair, I blew it dry and I also kind of did her a rough cut because her ends were really, really bad. So this is just the aftermath of the rough cut that I did. And I think I got most of her dead ends off, but I need to go back in and clean it up again. And she has a little bit of damage in the um, middle. I don't know if you can see that, but... It, I couldn't actually cut up a little bit higher, but it wasn't so bad. And, you know, the sides were pretty strong and healthy. So within the next two to three months, that middle will catch up with the um, with the um, sides of her hair. But like I always say, if you watch any of my videos, you already know how it goes down on this channel. We do not color hair without any type of haircut. Cut and color go together. They just, they have to. Um, the cut is what builds the structure, it creates the house, um, and it lets you know where the color is going to, to go. Like you don't cut the color, you know, you can essentially even waste product by doing that. You always want to color your haircuts. And so that's why I did the rough cut so I could kind of have a guide as to where I'm going to place um, her hair color. And it makes a big difference, it really does. So now she's on a roll to strong, healthy hair. And we got a lot of those damaged ends off and her hair will retain moisture better and it'll also stay um, silkier a lot longer too and it'll make for easier styling as well. Also Constance, her hair, it is very, very, um, it has a lot of weight to it. You can see like it's heavy. So I'm going to go in and even though she needs a trim, I'm going to also kind of take a little bit of that weight out on the ends. So when we go to style it, um, it bevels really nicely and it's just not like a hard blunt line. We kind of want to remove some of that bulk out. So she have just a little light layering on her ends. And I'm also, while I'm doing that, I'm also uh, cleaning up the interior of her hair as well because she has some split ends throughout and I think that mainly just come from the puffs and like the ponytails and stuff like that sometimes that can um that can cause a lot of damage but 
I was able to get most of all of that off. So she won't be due for another trim for hmm, I'm gonna say like another three to four months because she doesn't wear her hair straight very often, which is good in her case. Um, she wears it in its natural state most of the time. So in about four months, I'll see her again and we can do her another trim. Now, as far as maintenance is concerned for Constance's new hair color, um, it's going to definitely look a little bit different than probably what she's used to doing. Um, one of the biggest parts that people mess up on after getting their hair colored is not changing their regimen after they do it. You have got to use special shampoos, conditioners, and embody a whole new hair regimen after you color your hair because the composition has changed and so that's normally where people say the color broke my hair off i'm like hair color does not break people's hair off lack of knowledge is what breaks your hair off you have got to change up the things that you do so for constance's hair um her regimen will look a little bit like this for starters she cannot shampoo her hair for three days because that color has to set and when she does shampoo her hair, she needs to use cool water. Um, definitely doesn't want to want to go any hotter than lukewarm, but um, cool preferably because red is a very high maintenance color. And pink is a shade of red, so you might as well go and throw that in the boat as well. So in order to preserve her hair color longer and so it stays fresher, we want to keep those molecules all locked in. And so cold water is going to do that. If she uses hot water, then the um, color is going to fade quicker. And all those molecules will just open up and they'll escape. And as for her shampoo, she's going to need color protecting shampoo and also color protecting conditioners or intensive uh, mask because her hair was a little dry when we first started so we need to make sure that she locks in all the moisture that she can because dry hair and hair color is just a recipe for breakage so um, as long as she is doing those things using cold water keeping up with her trimming schedule then her hair will remain healthy she won't have any breakage and it'll, it'll continue to flourish so make sure after y'all get your hair colored that you ask whoever's coloring it, you know, about color safe products and things that you should use for the type of hair color you have. It's very, very, very important um, because you don't want your hair to break off. And if your hair is colored, it is more prone to breakage. So you want to protect it at all costs. Okay, y'all, so we are done. It's time for the grand reveal. And if you don't know, if you're uh, new to my channel, I, I am a fiend of the silk, the silk wrap, uh, the saran wrap and plastic. I had to use that for Constance's hair because her hair is um, so thick. So I needed to seal in all that moisture. And I also needed to relax some of those curls that we put in her hair. So um, that really just infuse a lot of shine and body into it and when i tell you i am so pleased with the turnout and i also love that um we didn't have to lift or lighten a lot of her hair we just lighten just that one little section so that's gonna make for um easier keep up for her at home because i'm always thinking about uh what happens after you leave the salon and if you'll be able to take care of your hair at home and i know for her being that she has so much hair we didn't want to lighten all of it that's just that's just entirely too much for what she can handle right now so it turned out great i love it i'm i mean i'm i'm impressed with my own work <laughs> um and she seemed to love it as well so thank y'all for watching um, come back if you haven't seen any of my other past uploads go ahead and binge watch subscribe like comment if you have any questions below i will do my best to answer and i'll see y'all next time